guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you. I've never done one of these before but recently I've been shopping online and going to a couple thrift stores and I got a couple, a few things, more than a few things that I wanted to share with you guys because I know people like watching hauls. I think it's like therapeutic almost. It's just fun to see what people buy. Before I start, I was going to include a couple of products I bought off of e.l.f. online, but they haven't arrived yet. I'm hoping they get here in the next couple days, but I'm going to do a review on the exfoliating gel, um, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. The first thing I'm going to go through is the stuff I got at Ulta today. Um, I went and I shopped for my family, so I got a couple of other things for them, but I got a few items for me. Um, the first item I got, which I'm like super excited to try out, is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. Um, this was the only one they didn't have a tester for at the store, but the only other color I think would have looked good on me is Ash Blonde, which they didn't have any left. So I was like, you know what, I'll try taupe because I think that's the kind of color I'm looking for. I still have like marks on my hand from where I was like swatching all of the testers. Oh yeah, this will be a perfect color for me. Yes, because I knew I wanted like a taupe color, but in a chocolate color was like the right shade, but the tone wasn't quite right. It was way too warm for my brows, which I've been looking for a brow pencil that wasn't too warm because everything I try that isn't too dark is like way too warm. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Let me know if you want to see a review on it. The next thing I purchased is something I've been meaning to get for a long time now, but it's the NYX Lingerie, uh, Lip Lingerie. And I got the shade Lace Detail um, because it kind of looked like a color I was missing in my collection of liquid lipsticks. I'm probably going to go back and get more colors if I end up loving this. I'm hoping that I do. I've heard good things about it. So the next thing I bought, I bought a lot of NYX. I think that's all I got for myself actually was just NYX stuff. But um, I got this liquid crystal liner in the shade Crystal Silver. I'm going to do some holiday looks, probably using this and the next product, which is the NYX, oh my god, Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and Definitely Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. This liner is so good, the name had to be, hang on, it cut off. The name had to be this long. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Look how bright that is. Okay, I'm really excited to try this now. That name is hilarious. Anyways, I'm going to probably do a look using these and lots of shimmery stuff and do some like graphic liner holiday looks, so also keep an eye out for those. The last thing I got at Ulta, also from NYX, was the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color Jet Set, which is like a really pretty like dark purple navy color. I have another one of these in the shade Sandstorm, which I love it. It can be like a little streaky sometimes, but you just gotta apply it right and it's totally worth it. Um, it's like, I wouldn't say it's super long lasting, but I like the way it looks. I think it provides a really nice look, but I decided to get this because I thought it was a really fun different color. I don't normally go out with lipsticks. But I figured I could create like a New Year's look or something fun like that. So also at the mall today I went by Sephora and I can't show you everything I got because it's not for me, it's for my family as Christmas presents. So I unfortunately won't be able to spoil that today but I had some beauty points and I used it to pick up a little sample size of this Makeup Forever Aqua Eye Pencil. You can see how pigmented that is. So I'm super excited to try this out. I figured, why not? I have points, might as well use it for something I'll actually use. Can never have enough black eyeliner. The next thing I got is from online, from ColourPop. I'm actually new to the whole ColourPop thing. I have never really tried their stuff, but I got the Just Peachy Lip Kit, um, which comes with three shades, Instigator, Speed Dial, and Screenshot, which I think are all really pretty, like dark peach shades. Um, I have a review coming on these soon. Also picked up the shade Creeper. I know this is a super popular ultra matte lip color. It's like a really, really, really bright red. I've actually already worn this and I got so many compliments on it. It's like literally so bright. I don't think, I haven't seen a red lipstick so like bright. It is, it's incredible. The next thing I picked up from ColourPop is the Peachy Keen Eyeshadow Kit. 
It comes with four colors, Crimper, Kennedy, Cornelius, and Bandit. And I will be reviewing these along with the liquid lipstick um, peach collection that I bought. So the next couple things I bought are clothes. Um, a couple of them are from the thrift store and a few of them are from higher end. Well, not high end, but like actual stores. So the first thing I bought was from a local Plato's Closet that sells um, basically like name brand and style clothing up to like 70% off. You get like a huge discount on stuff. Some things not as big a discount as you would think. Like I found some Nike sneakers on the, in there that were like so beat up and they were still charging like 50 or $70. And I was like, I'm not going to pay that much for something that is that beat up that I could get for that price on sale somewhere, you know? Anyways, um, but I picked up these really cute black booties. I think they're Charlotte Bruce brand actually, yeah. But they were only like $15 and I think normally you'd find them for like 25 or 30 bucks at Charlotte Bruce. So I feel like that was a total steal. I love them. They're like a little worn down on the bottom, but I don't really care because no one sees the bottom of your shoes. And the next thing I bought from Charlotte Russe, I haven't actually worn yet. I still have the tag on it, but it was $12. Sorry, I got it from Plato's Closet. It's another Charlotte Russe brand thing. But it's just this really, it's this really cute jacket. Um, and it's like a faux leather jacket. And it's got a bunch of like zipper, zipper detailing and, um... Just like the patterns across it is really cool there's nothing like messed up on it at all and um it seems like a pretty high quality jacket for the price i got it at so i'm super excited to wear this i also love the color the next thing i bought is just the super simple like workout jacket like an athletic jacket um i don't remember how much this was i'm sure it was like under ten dollars but it's just got this stripe on the side, it's kind of like knockoff Adidas, I guess. The brand is Athletic Works, but yeah, it's super simple. I wore this one day with like some jeans and some tennis shoes and I got a compliment. So I think it's working. It's not super warm, I'll admit. Um, I have to wear something else under it to keep me warm. But again, super cute for that like athletic chic vibe. I almost forgot about two skirts I bought recently that I absolutely love. This one is from Ann Taylor Loft, I think. Um, and it's this super cute, like, burgundy maroon patterned, um, pencil skirt. I absolutely love it. I needed some more, like, business attire that, like, I could kind of wear, um, in the workplace professional kind of area, but also something I could wear, like, on the weekends to, like, a nice dinner or something. And the other skirt I bought is from Forever 21, I think only $13.00. And um, it's kind of a similar color. This one's a little bit darker and like a little more purple. But again, it's super cute. It's really soft. And it's the same kind of pencil skirt idea. But this one's a little more form-fitting. So that includes my clothing and makeup haul. I know it wasn't a ton of stuff, but it's the Christmas season. So I'm holding out on going crazy on the shopping until I actually get some gifts and like money to spend on that kind of stuff. But if you want to see a review on any of the products that I showed, um, please comment down below. I'd be happy to do it. Also leave requests for any kind of video you want to see, more hauls, more vlogs. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!